All right, let's take a look now at normal combustion. These videos are courtesy of Dr. Alexi Berkla at Leeds University over in the United Kingdom. He and his students actually came up with a test rig that helps demonstrate and takes video of what normal combustion looks like in abnormal combustion. So abnormal combustion would be an LSPI, low speed pre-ignition event. So let's look at normal combustion first. A few things to kind of keep in mind here. I know we're looking at a black screen, um, but want to emphasize one thing here is, is that the spark plug is in the center part of the uh, frame. And so on the normal combustion, as we hit play, you'll notice that the flame starts right at the center and moves outward at a nice uniform pace. And it is the propagation of the flame is uh, very consistent. You don't see more flame in one area of the combustion chamber than others. So now let's take a look at abnormal combustion. Um, one thing also to notice here is, is that you don't see a spark plug firing. The spark plug uh, does not fire in this video because it is a pre-ignition event. The pre-ignition event takes place at one of the edges of the uh, piston or the, the combustion chamber and it propagates very rapidly across the piston and at a non-uniform pace. And so that overpressurization on the piston causes the catastrophic failure of the piston. If you remember back to the other videos that we showed, most of the catastrophic failure of that piston uh, was shown to occur in one of the edges of that piston. So this video demonstrates and illustrates exactly what's going on uh, inside a low speed pre-ignition event inside of an engine. Uh, that, that video really kind of shows exactly what's going on in that LSPI event. What are some general observations you could make on, on the occurrence of LSPI? So there's a lot of factors that kind of go into causing uh, uh, or contributing to LSPI and some of them are uh, from the oil like we talked about earlier, but some of them are also directly related to how these engines are engineered. So the more you increase the boost from the turbocharger to the supercharger, uh, you have a, you crank the dial up a little bit on the LSPI possibility. The other thing is, is uh, how the, the fuel actually uh, how much pressure you use, the uh, the timing of those injectors, uh, the air-fuel ratios during different speeds and different loads on the Makes engine sense. have a direct effect on it. The other thing too is actually fuel. Uh, ethanol content has been shown to have a, have an effect on um, on LSPI events, um, so that's one part of it. And then also uh, the aromatic compounds that kind of go into blending fuel. Um, what type they are, how much percentage is in the fuel. Okay. Um, that's another thing. So some of these things we can control with from the, the lubricant side and from the engineering side, but the other side of it is, is you gotta really look at it from a fuel side. So it's really a team effort to try to combat some of these problems.